there has been violence that's been reported as rebel MLA Tanaji Savan's office was vandalized in Pune. Shiv Sainik's vandalized the rebel MLA's office. And there are a lot of questions about whether law and order has taken a hit in this internal Shiv Sena war. Look at those images on your screen. This is from Pune, where in fact this rebel MLA, Tanaji Savant's office, has been vandalized. And there have been several such incidents that have been reported. It's exactly these kind of vandalism incidents, protests, that's led to Eknath Shinde alleging that he and all the other MLAs aren't safe and the security has been withdrawn. Saurabh Bhaktanya is joining us live from Matushri in Mumbai. Saurabh, what's being done by Udav Thakre, by the Udav Sena to stop this and to curb this kind of incident? Sure, it's muscle flexing, but this is a clear breakdown of law and order now. Alexita, we don't know that what they are going to, what they are doing to stop such uh, incidents of vandalism and violence. But let me tell you, there has been a, some sort of instigation which is com continuously happening. Yesterday, when we saw that Sanjay Raut giving a statement that Shiv Senex will be on road and you cannot stop them, and today we are seeing that how he said that. Yeah, the Shiv Sena, as uh, Shiv Seniks are very much angry, there can be uh, arsoning kind of and uh, violence incidents can happen, but we are stopping our uh, Shiv Senik uh, to stop, to not do anything of this sort. But let me tell you, this is the fourth such incident where the MLA's offices have been vandalized by the Shiv Senik, which is the Uddhav uh, Sena group. Two offices were broken uh, yesterday uh, in Kurla area and now this particular incident which comes from Pune. Uh, Rebel MLA Tanaji Savan's office in Pune is vandalized uh, by the Shiv Sainik, completely broken. There were several Shiv Sainik who forcefully entered the office and have vandalized his office. Now, this comes after this Eknath Shinde statement clearly stating that uh, their and their family's uh, life is in danger. A security which was provided by the government is now taken back. Home Minister might be saying that the security is still intact. They are right now in Gowati. We cannot provide uh, them security in Gowati, but here the security will be provided. But let me tell you, the situation is very grim at the moment. Section 144 is implemented in Thane City. Uh, this uh, area comes under Ekna Chinde's uh, group. Ekna Chinde comes from Thane, and the situation right now in Thane, the collector, the city police of Thane, all have issued prohibitory, uh, prohibitory orders. And section yeah. 144 is uh, imposed. When we talk about Mumbai, the Mumbai Police Commissioner already has taken a high level meeting and has taken a review of how the security arrangement and Bondobas has to be done. It will be very important to see, Akshita, what happens at the meeting which is going to happen in some point of time from now at the 1 p.m. Uh, which is the national, uh, uh, national executive meeting of the Shiv Sena wherein Aditya Thakre will be personally present and Uddhav Thakre will be present through VC. Harsh decision, a tough decision might yeah. be expected wherein the party leader post of Eknath Shinde and Ramdas Kadam could be removed. Remember yes. the party leader which the Shiv Seni call as a Neta is a very important term. Only four Netas are right now in Shiv Sena which is so include Eknath Shinde, Ramdas Kadam and Aditya Thakur. So their post might be removed as a party leader which will give a very strong statement to the rebel camp. So continuously some of the other things are happening. Meanwhile, a meeting is going on at the Sagar Bungalow at the BJP where Devendra Fadnavis is meeting several uh, MLAs and the independent MLAs as well. So we are seeing a lot of developments continuously happening. But the 1 p.m. meeting of Shiv Sena's national executive meeting at Sena Bhan will be very important. Back to you, Akshita. Very true. But what we're playing out right now on our screens, and we hope Udav Thakre will come out to condemn this, is Shiv Sena now going ahead and taking law into their own hands. This is an internal fight within the Shiv Sena and emotional Shiv Seniks are now targeting, vandalizing property. This is the rebel MLA's office in Pune that's been targeted. And unfortunately, there have been multiple such incidents that have been reported. Perhaps also what we've seen, Saurabh, is that these kind of incidents have increased. After the likes of even Uddhav Thakre, Sanjay Rao said we will win this battle on the streets. That's a clear message to Shiv Senex, who have known always to go on this kind of a rampage at the drop of a hat. So, Akshita, they are going to play uh, the, this game till this last ball. So, what they are right now uh, trying to say, like we saw the statement of Sanjay Raut earlier, he said that let them come to Mumbai, let them have the flow test. 
all the MLAs who are back in the Guwahati ho hotel, half of them are going to uh, going to vote in our favour. That is what Sanjay Raut is claiming. But it doesn't seem on ground that that will happen because Etna Chinde's group is very firm at the moment. Whatever statements are given by Uddhav Thakre, by Sanjay Raut, they are giving back them the answer at the moment. Uh, we are seeing a moment over here. There is a minister who has just uh, arrived at uh, Uddhav Thakre's residence and uh, will try to know who is he. Uh, but let me tell you that uh, just some time from now, uh, Aditya Thakre is going to leave uh, from uh, Matoshi, a very important meeting like you said. Uh, but coming back uh, to the security arrangement and the security issues at the moment, uh, the police has uh, uh, is reviewing the particular situation. We are also being told that Thane city remains very sensitive at the moment. Apart from prohibiti and section 144 which is imposed in the Thane city, we are he hearing that the rebel group Sivsenik are going to protest a huge march in Ek outside Eknath Shinde uh, house. So law and order situation still remains uh, a concern for city of uh, Thane and Mumbai as well. Very true. And uh, we're seeing several such incidents being reported. This is one incident in Pune where Shiv Senex going on a rampage have vandalized that particular rebel MLA's office. You see how many of them, scores of them, with uh, Shiv Sena flag barging into the office, destroying property, raising slogans. And remember that even in places like Thane, which is Ekta Shinde's stronghold, there have been multiple incidents of violence. Take a look at exactly what's playing out there in Pune. This is the kind of uh, angle that Shiv Senex are showing now on the streets. No action being taken against them. They're being allowed blatantly to go on this rampage because this is what the Shiv Sena wants right now, Saurabh, to flex muscle, to show off their strength on the streets. And it's the common man who pays because this is a clear breakdown of law and order. Well, Akshita, you really don't know what will, what is going to happen because Shiv Sena is known for such aggression. For last couple of days, we are seeing that how Uddhar Thakre, Aditya Thakre are giving out emotional speeches. They are trying to connect from uh, ground to upper cadre of the party and giving out so many emotional speeches. But now, it's the second part of the Shiv Sena, which is the aggression. The aggressive Shiv Sena, who is known to vandalize public properties, who are known to go out in the open and uh, and hit uh, and assault uh, and for writings we are known to Ashok Sena for writings as well. So now this is being shown as a message clearly a message has been indicated to the rebel groups. This is particular strategy in a way uh, Akshita that we are the real Shiv Sainik and uh, a threatening message. The first threatening message was given out for the disqualification of the six, uh, 16 MLAs. Now this is a threat that how we can vandalize your offices and your places. So therefore Eknath Shinde group is now being targeted uh, like the morale can, uh, can be down and so many things should go down. So what strategy right now Uddhav Sena is doing is to take time time buying process also that uh, sitting at that particular hotel in Govati they keep on thinking so many phone calls have been happening from Matoshi to Govati hotel to some of the MLAs that they should come back that you will be respected in a way which earlier you were respected so you should come back you should not leave the Thakre family the real Shiv Sena and not join such uh, cheap politics.